Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a product from the company Three Pigeons. This here in my hands, I have not even opened this yet, but this is a range bag from again, the company Three Pigeons. The people at Three Pigeons did reach out to me to see if I'd be interested in taking a look at some of their gear. They allowed me to go through their catalog and pick out some things that I thought I'd be interested in checking out. So today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at this range bag. So specifically, a pistol range bag. We're gonna take a look at it for the overall quality, the overall features, to see if it's something that will be useful for you. So again, what we're gonna do, we'll take a look at this in detail. Then I have a little bit of, I would say, just having some fun, getting to the range, some practical shooting, and just enjoying my time with my firearms and this range bag from Three Pigeons. And so when we get back, we'll get into all the details, but with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Three Pigeons who did provide this for review. And so as we get into this here, again, I have not yet even taken a look at this. So we're going to get a first look and impression of this brand together. Now, as I mentioned uh, right at the intro, this is a company who reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in taking a look at their products. They allowed me to go through pretty much their entire catalog to get a look at all of their gear and said, just pick out some things that I thought would be useful. And right away for me, range gear and you know bags and management of my firearms is literally critical for a few reasons. First and foremost, the safety and security and ability to transport. That's absolutely of importance. The ability to keep my gear clean and organized and when i go to the range i have a ton of things i need to do a ton of objectives as you realize i mean you watch my channel if you've been watching my channel you realize i mean pretty much every time i go to the range i'm filming so i need to manage my gear manage my ammo manage my firearms and all my filming equipment my safety and security equipment you know med kits and things like that and maybe optics or different things that i'm testing so having something like this for the pistol application I think is going to be very nice and right away as I start to take a look at this seemingly very nicely made now of course we'll get into all of the details but right away just some of the general impressions from the outside of the bag very very nice you can see here you know some molly and it seems to be laser cut and it incorporates some velcro fields and same with on top a lot of velcro on the outside some laser cut molly on the side panels on the back nice robust and just heavy duty padded shoulder straps as we open this whole thing up you'll see now we're getting into a waist belt so again just a nicely padded waist belt fantastic from a very first impression this here being ballistic nylon really really cool as we take a look at some of the buckles here just looking at the little things like for example are these sort of name brand it doesn't seem to be this brand three pigeons is going to be sort of a mid-tier range i would say not high end not super budget but you know budget friendly i mean really in in my opinion sort of tailoring and i'm not going to say by any means the novice maybe for somebody looking to get started maybe for somebody who's either looking for you know a second set of gear or something that they can outfit a nice kit and not completely break the bank with a nicely featured piece of equipment and so as you take a look here you can see one of the things that caught my attention right away lockable zippers now i think that's an extremely important feature that many many manufacturers overlook and especially when you're talking about range gear this is critical because depending on what you're trying to do where you're located and what the laws are in your area you may need to have your firearms locked up you may need to have your ammo locked up and you might want that level of security so right away I greatly like that about this. 
as we fold open the top here. So some nice compartmentalization, the ability to stash some tools. Actually, these are all padded. So right away you can see these are padded. And I'm curious about this. Would this be suitable for glasses? Which sliding these in, yes. So right away, I mean, I have a place for my range glasses. I love that. A smaller compartment here? Well, what do you think that's gonna be good for? My hearing protection. So right in the top of the bag, right in the front where I'm going to need it, my safety glasses and my hearing protection, that's awesome. That's one of the first things I do when I get to the range. I break these out because oftentimes people are shooting and right away I will need those. So that's definitely cool. Couple other smaller little compartments here, very simple. And then across the front, a fairly nice sized pocket here. Not too huge, but large enough. And then on top of all of that, I can say I will probably have the ability to, yes, fit my range notebook, which I always keep notes right in there. So right away, I'm already getting some very good impressions on how I would lay this out. Very nice. Moving down to the next section here, again, you can see you have some pockets on the side. So nice large pockets, again, fairly good size. I would probably potentially keep ammo in there. Also zippers with locks on the side. So you can see here, again, the ability to lock everything up if you need to. Nice zipper pulls. They have a little bit of uh, just this sort of rubberized material on the end that's gonna help. It's like a shrink tube just to keep everything tidy. These are basically paracord loops with knots and then they just put the little rubber over that which is more than suitable. I definitely think that's fine. The very front compartment here, again, some more subdivided organization. So taking a look at it here, almost like a clear pocket which is weird because it doesn't really need to be. I don't know what the clear gains you there, but you also have this pouch here on the outside. So I guess that's the purpose, uh, you know, kind of getting a little extra subdivided nature here if you need it. And then the ability to see the contents on the inside. A little bit strange, but kind of go with it for a minute here. A couple little loops here, so elasticized loops. That's nice, the ability to put pens, markers, things like that and a little, I would say, admin section here. So again, some subdivided ability to get pens, markers, things like that. I do typically bring Sharpies to the range, so having the ability to put these in here, that will work out just fine. So that's actually about perfect, or in these loops. So depending on if you're trying to put little tools, you can make a little you know, tool kit, you can make a med kit, you could also have a little admin section. So very nice. Again, rolling around to the other side. Now, I think what we're gonna find is as we open this up here, so a full zip all the way around. And yes, as we open this up, you end up with your sleeves. So you end up with sort of like pistol sleeves here. So as we remove them, one, two, and three. Side access, very simple. Everything is nicely padded, but you'll also find access over the top. So top and side access here. So a couple different ways to get in here. Now, another thing that you'll notice is this does seem to have inverted zipper tracks. So that's nice. That does help to protect the zippers in the long haul. They're actually fairly substantial, large zippers, good and durable. They should do a nice job. They're a self-healing design. And then also over the top, you'll see a large yoke grab handle. So just a large doubled over grab handle box stitching in some critical locations, which is fantastic. Pulling off the information here, you can see, again, three pigeons, general user information, a 20% off your next order coupon, and some information about their website. As we go through the pistol pouches, we'll open these up. So here you can see, they do appear to be pretty much uh, single-sided here with the ability to put a number of magazines. So that is fantastic with a nicely padded sleeve in between to keep your firearm protected so things don't bang around. You can see there's also sort of a, you know supplementary pocket here. So the firearm could certainly go in this section here. It could go in this section here. So a little bit versatile. It is very soft on the inside. So not a fleece lining, but a nice soft liner on the inside. So the ability to keep things protected, fantastic. Nice heavy zippers, again, 
You can see each one of these having heavy duty zippers, doubled over and box stitched grab handle, and more than enough padding here to keep things protected. As we go through these, just taking a quick look, seemingly about the same from what I can tell. Everything seems to be the same size, at least in terms of these first two. And as we take a look at the third one here, yes, seemingly exactly the same. So all three of these about the same size. Just for a quick size comparison and demonstration here, you can see this is my Canik Mette SFT, which I'll get the magazines loaded in. You'll notice four slots here. Again, that padding, if it's moving around a little bit, probably not a big deal, but you'll notice that these magazines do slide off to the side just a little bit. So if I was literally just gonna place my handgun in there, um, that is certainly a consideration. I will probably try to go more like this if possible. And for this particular size handgun, that's gonna be tight. A smaller sort of micro compact size would probably fit in that sleeve, no problem. So this would fit like this, folding this over the top and then zipping everything shut. That's gonna work just fine to keep everything nicely padded and nicely protected. And of course the ability to fit multiple firearms in the bag itself. So I should be able to fit all three in here with no problem and depending on kind of what you're trying to do obviously you can organize this a number of different ways. Now I do find that with the actual firearm in here it kind of does bulk things out just a little bit but the nice thing is the bag does seem to have enough flex and give and enough room to hopefully accommodate that. So if all three of these were fully loaded out with magazines and fully loaded out with handguns would there be enough room? I'd say probably there should be enough room, all things considered. Now, as I take a look in a little more detail, you'll also notice there's an additional sleeve in here. So I'm gonna open this from the top, which in essence, this does have a number of different dividers. So you can actually take this Velcro, configure it in different ways and make little shelves on the inside. So that's kind of interesting. So the ability to subdivide this bag a few different ways and make it sort of a multiple configuration, if you would so choose on the bottom here. Now I have its own compartment on the inside. You'll notice something actually that I just picked up on. You have your main compartment here, but then you also have a second compartment. So a second zipper. And again, you can actually take one of these, uh, you know, pistol pouches here, fit that in the inside and actually rock one of them right on the top, which is pretty cool. So again, depending on what you're trying to do, the type of firearms you have or the configuration you're going for, it does seem to be fairly flexible. One of my initial impressions is that there's kind of a lot going on here. Now, I think once you start to get this bag fit out, I think once you start to get all of your gear in here and once you start consuming some of the volume, I think it'll actually make things ride a little bit easier. I think it'll make things ride just a little more comfortable and everything will fit and the bag will sort of sit. Right now, it's just kind of flopping around a little bit. There is some decent structure, all things considered, but you'll notice that there's, you know, no real, and, and I guess what I'm gonna call like a frame sheet in the back. It doesn't necessarily need it. A uh, frame sheet would add a level of rigidity, but it doesn't necessarily need it across the back here so very interesting as you take a look a rain cover so on top of all of this it comes with an integrated rain cover nice attention to detail so i mean i think the people at three pigeons are definitely trending in the right direction here i think i'm going to need to take a little while get this thing set up start to kind of understand it figure out what works best for me get this bag fully configured and that way i can get it out to the range and there's a lot again of just little details the more and more i look like for example this is going to be awesome look at the side here now i personally always have some sort of and i would say like tripod or the need to carry something for my recording purposes. Having this nice little loop here 
This is going to be awesome. It gives me the ability to attach something right here on the side of the bag. Very simple yet effective. And the ability, you know, like I said already, to kind of lock everything together. That's awesome. I love that. And then even furthermore, some simple D rings and just nice overall stitching, the beautiful zippers. So I think this bag is going to work out very, very nicely for me. It's just going to take a little while to better understand it and get myself set up. And even furthermore, such a simple little thing, but remember I said, I'm just gonna go and have a little bit of fun. If you take a look at the box this came in, well, pay attention because Target's included inside the inside of the box. Very funny that they did this, but also very cool. So just a number of little Target's here and I'm actually going to leverage these and just enjoy some time at the range. So with that, let's turn the corner. I'm going to get this bag fully fit out. And we're going to go to the range. Let's go hit it up and blast some brass. And so I thought I'd take advantage of the fact that I had some targets here and just have some fun. Have you ever gone to the carnival where you get that little air gun and you have to shoot the BBs at the target and knock the star out of it to win a prize? Well, I thought that's what I'd try to do today. So with the three pigeons targets here, I thought maybe if I was perfect with my shot, I could knock out one of these circles. And I realized that based on the circumference, well, if I took 33 perfect shots, I could knock this out, but how did I do? Well, there's only one way to figure that out. That's to get to the range.
And so now, back from the range, how did I do? Well, I guess I could say I did not meet my objectives, yet at the same time, I completely met my objectives. I mean, I didn't knock the circle out of the target. That was definitely not gonna happen. I just wanted to try it. I wanted to have some fun and I wanted to learn a thing or two, but more specifically, well, first, I wanted to get the Three Pigeons range bag out into the field, which I did. This thing has been awesome. I absolutely love it. And in fact, I've used it a number of times since the footage that you saw here. I also wanted to get my daily carry EDC out for some good quality field use. Now, uh, when I look at this actually, and I didn't do terrible, I set out to shoot 33 perfect rounds to try to knock this out. So you'll see I got everything sighted in and you know I practiced a little bit and got everything kind of dialed in. And then when I started taking my shots, well I put 80 rounds on target here. And of those 80 rounds, well the entire circumference being 298 millimeters, uh, basically, I had about 168 millimeters remaining in red, which means 56% was remaining. Or in other words, I knocked out about 44% of the circle. And if you kind of extrapolate that out, that means for me to knock the entire thing out with 9 millimeter, I would have needed 181 total rounds. So I shot 80, I would have needed about 101 more to finish this thing off if I shot on average about the same and that's not easy this entire thing here is just about a three inch diameter circle and so to have that three inch diameter circle pretty well peppered i mean i have about a maybe a four inch four and a half inch total grouping on about 80 shots which is not bad i mean it wasn't that far away but pretty good but that's besides the point the three pigeons range bag awesome this has been fantastic i've set this up a couple of different ways at this point i've carried a ton of different gear this holds a lot a lot a lot of stuff so i mean from three pistols to plenty of ammo tons of tools all your ppe i've had this set up with like sight pullers and different things like that i've put tripods this is a fantastic bag great features the ability to lock it is awesome so to the people at three pigeons i'm very very happy with this so thank you very much for providing this for review and for the rest of you do me a favor look in the description box below where you can get more details on where to find these and if you like this content do me a favor take a look at my outer limitless channel which is more on my primary gear on that channel i cover everything from hiking camping and backpacking excursions all the gear that goes with it so from sleep systems, shelter systems, knives, axes, backpacks, flashlights, you name it, that's my Outer Limitless YouTube channel. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.